guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic so today i am back with a brand new video i'm going to be talking about all of the amazing products beauty skin care body care a little bit of hair care and a few fragrances for 2021 i have a bunch of stuff to go through like this is definitely going to be a long video so please get yourself something to drink okay get comfy cozy and let's talk about these products, all right? So if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Please turn your notifications on so you're notified every single upload and give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel reach more people. As you guys can see, we are at a different location today. I'm actually filming from my bedroom just because it's a little bit more laid back and casual and I'm kind of feeling this like background a little bit. I'm gonna start off with probably skincare because I don't have too much to talk about. The makeup is a heavy load. So let's start with some skincare products. Now, if you're new to the channel, my skin is pretty much normal to dry. In the winter time right now in Canada, it is cold honey and my skin gets really really dry so I love products that are going to nourish and hydrate my skin so I'm gonna go ahead and start with serums I have three that I absolutely love and use consistently I have here my Clarins double serum and this is just oof. I love 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 this serum if you want a serum that is very like nourishing hydrating and leaves your skin very supple and this beautiful kind of like glow you almost feel like you don't need to apply moisturizer on top of this this is amazing this is definitely an anti-aging product but I also find that it really nourishes my skin and hydrates it so I've been using this for about two years now and I absolutely love this product I know that they came out with also a double um, eye serum which I'm testing out right now so I'll give you guys an update on that very soon I absolutely love the way that it feels on the skin and the fact that it's kind of like a two-in-one product is amazing you rub it in and it's almost like the consistency of gel but without the dry down of gel sometimes gel products like that consistency it dries down very very dry and this doesn't it dries down very like soothing and hydrating and it's just like uh, everyone needs to try that and look at this I don't know if my camera is gonna pick it up but there is a beautiful like glow Oh, it's so beautiful. Love, love this product. Definitely worth checking out. And then I have, of course, my Vici Mineral 89. I've been talking about this one for many, many years. I love this product. It's so versatile. When I feel like my skin needs a reset, I pull up this product. Sometimes I mix it with foundation to create a more hydrating foundation and my base looks a lot more natural and smooth on the skin. It's a really beautiful product. Again, it has a very similar texture to the double serum from Clarins where it almost feels like a gel product when you're applying on the skin. This one is definitely more gel-like, but this has a more cooling, soothing effect. It still feels very, very nourishing, but to me it has more of a soothing effect than the Clarins double serum, but they all really feel amazing on the skin and don't dry out my skin once it starts to settle into it. So love this product, very, very nourishing very hydrating if you need hydration definitely definitely try out the Vici Mineral 89 this is a product that you can get in almost every like um, shoppers drug mart if you're out here in Canada it's a lot more affordable than a ton of other high-end products but still works just as amazing as any high-end product so don't sleep on Vici products they are 10 out of 10 in my books they really do amazing skincare and then last but not least I have the Shiseido power infused concentrate this is another a really amazing product I'm actually almost out of this bottle but I already have a backup because I just love this one this is highly highly concentrated on anti-aging fine lines um, also hyperpigmentation so it's really really great uh, to get a start on that as soon as you can you want to keep your skin nice and supple and smooth I would highly recommend this the texture is really really similar to 
to the other two that I mentioned where it has almost like that gel like consistency but this one is a little bit more loose in that consistency it feels a little more creamy but still with that gel like consistency it's almost like a hybrid between a cream and a gel mixed in one so it feels really nice on the skin also very soothing and very nourishing to the skin so highly recommend you guys check this one out all three of them are amazing you don't need to pick up um, all of them at the same time so whichever one you pick I can guarantee that it will work out really well for your skin so now on to face creams I have four to mention two are fairly new I believe I just started using them last year and then two I've been using for longer than that I believe if I'm not mistaken but let's start with the newest one which are these two over here so first of all we have keys soul care and this is their um, skin transformation cream this is from the brand by Alicia Keys I received a PR package with a ton of their skincare products and I was pretty impressed with the quality and just the philosophy behind the brand is so intriguing it's all about positivity and you know loving yourself from within and out self-care all of the stuff that I love to preach about this is what this brand is all about and I love it absolutely love it um, all of the packaging has like beautiful key messaging to it it has a me meaning behind it and I I really am loving the entire brand philosophy and if you know Alicia Key she's very much into that positivity so this is definitely on brand with her as a person so I got to try out the cream and this is the product that stood out to me the most because it feels so good on the skin like I said I have dry skin so I love a product that's going to be very emollient especially when it comes to my creams and nighttime skincare products so I love to use this during the night time it has this very I had to smell it. it smells like nothing actually it has this very like emollient consistency it's very nourishing very very nourishing not so much hydrating but I find it's more nourishing and it just makes my skin feel very supple and bouncy and nourished again so I really like this product if you like something super emollient that thicker consistency without it feeling um, how can I say this without it feeling heavy or even sticky I would recommend checking out this one I really really enjoyed it the next a cream that I have is definitely a little bit more different well a lot more different than the Alicia Keys one which is the summer Friday cloud dew cream this I've really enjoyed I was actually a subscriber that recommended it to me and I thank you so much because this is my second uh, bottle of this cream this is more of a gel and cream mixed together the consistency so I like to wear this during the day even though it doesn't have the emollient consistency I find that this one is a lot more hydrating as opposed to nourishing which is what the Alicia Keys um, Alicia Keys the Keys cream does for me it's more nourishing and this one is more hydrating like I feel like I put a splash of water all over my face and my pores are just sucking it all up that's what I feel with this one it doesn't get tacky or sticky once it settles down and it doesn't disturb my makeup once I put it on top of it so I really really like this one a little goes a long way very soothing and very hydrating so that is the summer Friday and I really like the summer Friday products to be quite honest I really want to try their AHA I think is it AHA the little blue bottle I'll put a picture of it on the screen but unfortunately they don't sell it here in Canada I believe I tried searching Sephora but they don't have it and I've seen other creators talk about it but they're all in the States I'm trying to get my hands on that one because it sounds like it's amazing okay so let's talk about the other two creams so I have here the Laura Mercier flawless skin infused the rose nourishing cream and this is another one very similar to the keys cream where it's very emollient and very um, nourishing so this is really really nice again for nighttime but I have worn it during the day it doesn't feel super sticky but it definitely has that emollient consistency where you will really feel your skin so so supple after you wear it it's also very soothing because it does have rose in here which is great for irritated skin or even redness so you can check this one out and there's no smell to this one 
And honestly, I feel like a lot of people sleep on the Laura Mercier skincare products. She has gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous skincare products. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. And then I have one from Burt's Bees. It's their truly growing, glowing night cream. Burt's Bees, don't sleep on them, okay? They are affordable, accessible, and absolutely amazing. They have so many great skincare products as well as lip care products that I absolutely love. Um, my oldest son, who is 14 now, he uses the Burt's Bees Truly Glowing entire collection for his skincare routine. I know I got my boy on his skincare routine. We gotta start them early, okay? If we don't want those pimples to pop. <laughs> so he has been using this brand because he has very, very dry skin. And I find that this is really great for his skin as well as the ingredients are amazing. There's not a ton of like harsh ingredients in there. So great, great um, skincare line to check out. This is definitely reserved for nighttime. It is very, very thick, very emollient, but I absolutely love it. Oh my God. Along with it nourishing my skin, it gives like this beautiful glow after I apply it. My skin is so supple and rich. It's a, yeah, it's a rich cream, this one over here. So I love it. Um, really affordable, but it does wonders and it works just as good as some of my really high-end products. I have to give a shout out to Drunk Elephant and their amazing deodorant cream. This is the product that I have been using for the past like two years. I want to say it's the only product that I go to now because it just works for me. First of all, it's definitely a lot more natural when it comes to the ingredients. This is more of a cream consistency, which might scare a lot of people because you think it would just get everywhere all over your clothes, but it doesn't. And it keeps the pits nice and fresh and clean throughout the entire day. Um, this one and also secret, I really like the secret line also, and I'll kind of alternate, but this is definitely my my top go-to uh, deodorant just because I, I just love it. I really, really love the way that it works and how soothing it is under the armpits and the fact that it keeps me fresh and clean. So definitely check this out. I literally buy three at a time just to have backups of these because I use this on a regular. As for hair care products, I have, I think like three or four to mention over here. I'm gonna start with Kerastase. I hope I'm saying their name right. This is a brand that I actually really, really like. I think that they do amazing hair care products and I was a little bit skeptical to think that it would work on my hair type because there are a lot of brands at Sephora that just don't work for my hair care, my hair type. I have very, very, very big curly hair. Right now you can't tell because it's all straightened, <laughs> but I do have a lot of hair. But with this brand, I actually get to use a ton of their products and they work really well for me. My favorite uh, too is their refreshing dry shampoo. I have like three bottles of this because it is so good. Anytime I straighten my hair, I try not to wash it like for at least a week. So I need something that's gonna refresh my hair throughout the day, throughout the week actually. And this is the dry shampoo that I use. It doesn't leave any residue. It doesn't leave my, my hair feeling tacky or sticky. And it just does the job and it smells very clean. So this is the dry shampoo that I use on a regular basis. And then I really like their Curl Manifesto. Um, this is like their mask. Unfortunately, I find it very small, so I don't get a ton of use because again I have a lot of hair so when I use this mask I can only use it maybe like three times or four max because I use quite a big chunk of it um, you do get 6.8 fluid ounces but on my hair I need a big bottle honey but um, it's still really good it leaves my curls very refreshed very bouncy and nourished and a lot of shine and it definitely helps my curls sustain themselves especially when I'm straightening it so much so really really love this mask uh, other two products that I believe I've already mentioned on my channel but I gotta give a shout out to L'Oreal and the steam pod products first of all the steam pod alone is a must-have if you like to get your hair slick straight get you the steam pod I always get questions do I relax my hair do I get some kind of treatment, a silk press. Honey, it's my steam pod from home that always gives my hair this like luscious look when I straighten it. Like that is all I use. And then I get these products and I am good to go. So this is the steam activated milk. So I apply this on my hair before going in with the steam pod and it definitely
definitely makes a difference. Like I do see a change with or without this. So this always helps that when I apply the steam pot onto my hair, it gives that like shine and that sleek look every time I use this product. And then their serum, which is this baby over here just gives a beautiful like glow to the hair after I'm done straining it. It is on the thicker side, so less is more. So you don't get that greasy look to your hair, but it just looks really beautiful because it just adds a lot more luminosity to the hair and um, love it. Love, love this, their hair care products with the steam pot. So let's quickly talk about four fragrances that I used so much during December and I'm just like completely obsessed with them. Uh, the first one is one one that I got for Christmas from my husband and that is Chanel Coco Noir. The bottle is just like, uh, it's just me. I love it. I love, 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 love it. It looks very sexy and classy at the same time. Now, Coco Noir compared to the original Coco, I do find them very different. So you can have both of them in your collection, no problem at all. This one is a lot more modern. I find it's a lot more tolerable and wearable. It doesn't smell as vintage as the original Coco. Oh, that made me sneeze. It smells floral, um, a little patchouli, and a little musky and spicy. Maybe a little woody. But in all in all, it smells like a woman. This smells like a woman. I'm actually gonna spray this over here so that I could just remind myself. I wore this a lot in December. Like this is a new bottle and I'm already pretty much up to here when it comes to how much I have. Mm, it's so elegant. The opening is very like fresh. It gives like a burst of citrusy tones, I believe. And then you get like the floral tones in here. It does smell sort of like white florals to me. Like I do get the co the original cocoa DNA in here, but this just smells a little bit more modern and very ladylike still. Oh, it's so elegant. I just, there's something really intriguing and it's easier to wear. Does that make sense? It really is easier to wear. And I can wear this very dressed up, but I can also find myself wearing it quite casual, like casual dressy, I wanna say. It smells really great. Absolutely love this one. And then the next fragrance that I'm gonna mention is Miss Dior. And I wore this so much. And this month I'm wearing it a lot too. Like this was a full size bottle and I already have a dent in this because I've been wearing this nonstop right out of the shower. I will put this on and I will layer it with another fragrance that I'll mention it in a second. And I just love this one. It's very, very sweet. To me, it almost smells like strawberries. I don't, I don't remember what's in here. It is this beautiful, like intoxicating sweetness in this fragrance that has me hooked. Like I cannot put this down. I have it on my vanity in my room and I've been wearing it so much and I'm kind of like surprised by the dent that I put in this because there was absolutely no dent in that in December. The next one that I'm wearing quite a bit is Santal Blush from Tom Ford and I'm using this a lot as a layering uh, fragrance. I've layered it with Coco Noir. I've layered it with Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming and Mon Guerlain. and I just find it's just a creamy sandalwood scent. It's really, really beautiful. Very clean and fresh. Um, that woody tone is very creamy. It's very, very luscious. Um, and it's just a really happy kind of yellow-like fragrance. Like when I smell this one, I think of like ylang ylang. I don't know if that's in here, uh, but it is just a really creamy, woody, almost musky, clean like scent very very wearable very approachable very everyday appropriate so love love this one and gorgeous to layer with other fragrances so as for foundation we have quite a few to talk about so let's run through them very very quickly starting off with the latest one that i have which is the max studio face and body foundation i am late to the game but i absolutely love this product as for the shade i got mine in shade N4. I think it's a tad bit light. I feel like I should get another shade above this one. Even if I mix them together, it would just complement my skin tone a little bit more. Plus, I feel like this is way too neutral. I think I need something with a warmer undertone, but the formula is incredible, especially for everyday wear. If you work from home, but you still want to, you know, you want to look presentable. You want to do the whole getting ready to go to work. 
this is a beautiful foundation. It's very, very sheer. It's very sheer, light, sheer to light coverage, but I think it just looks really beautiful, very luminous on the skin, very comfortable and extremely lightweight. So love, love that one. The next one is from Tom Ford. It's the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. Um, this shade is in 8.7 Golden Almond. If you're my skin tone, definitely go lighter than this one because this is a bit too dark for me, especially in the winter time. But the formula 10 out of 10 it is so good the coverage is incredible it's medium to full coverage it looks like skin it blends to perfection and it just overall gives you that flawless finish definitely beautiful and with tom ford i find that he just does amazing things from clothing to makeup to fragrances he just he doesn't go wrong, honestly. The prices are insane, but they are amazing. Um, the next foundation that I have is from Givenchy, and this is their Prism Libri, Libri, Libri Skin Caring Glow. I hope I said that right. I will link it down below for you guys, and I have mine in shade. What shade is this one? This is um, W310 for... 4W310, I believe. And this is another really gorgeous foundation. Very, very similar to the NARS um, formula. Not NARS. Tom Ford formula where they just look very seamless and very flawless on the skin. Easy to apply a little bit of a glow with the Givenchy while this one with the Tom Ford gives you a soft matte finish, but it's not drying, not drying at all. And this one gives you a little bit more of a dewy look. Both of them are incredible. They last really long on the skin. Absolutely love it. And then last but not least, I have Merit. And this is a newer brand that was introduced to me in December, but I absolutely love their products. Again, if you're into that minimalistic, natural look, this is a really, really beautiful brand to check out. Like their products just, oh, they're so gorgeous. Packaging is absolutely beautiful. I have the shade um, Amber and the shade Khaki. So Khaki is like my foundation shade, which matches me perfectly when I blend it out. Like you really cannot tell that I have foundation on. It just looks very natural and soft on the skin. And then Khaki is the shade that I use to cream contour and I have have been loving loving the shade it looks more like a bronzer it has that warmth to it without it going to like orangey or red and both of the products just have a formula that is so easy to work with whether you're a beginner or a professional makeup artist highly recommend these uh pretty amazing so in 2021 chanel came out with a darker shade for the ever so popular universal bronzer which i actually carried in my makeup kit for years when i was doing bridal um makeup up. I did that for a couple of years professionally I had my own company and that was a product that I used on every single bride except my deeper skin complexion brides which is really really disappointing because I absolutely love the formula but the color just was not universal okay it wasn't giving so they came out with a darker shade which is called tan deep bronze and it looks like this and you know, I will say that it is deeper than I expected, but I would love to see another two to three shades added on with this formula because the formula is, it just, I don't know what it is about it, but it just like takes your makeup to an entire different level. It gives you like a really beautiful kind of bronzy look, but at the same time, it contours the face a little bit in a more natural way. And it has almost like this very faint glow love love this one this is the same formula but in a deeper complexion for me this is a tad bit warm so it has a very kind of almost like reddish undertone when I apply it to my skin and I definitely notice as much as I love the formula and I definitely pull it off because I will make it work but I wish that there was a little bit more in terms of like the shade selection and the undertones this one it can work on other people of course I still use it I make it work but the undertones 
undertone is not the best for me, but the formula is incredible. And then we're going to talk about Mr. Tom Ford, and this is the Shade and Illuminate palette in Intensity 2. I definitely should have went with Intensity 1 because Intensity 2 is um, it's a bit too dark for me. It's a bit too dark, and it is this one over here. And I love that he gave us deeper shades, and I believe there is a darker one from this one, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm not wrong, but I mean, look at this. Like the richness of that is impressive. And I love that that option is there. Like the light color over here gets really messy. That's the only thing about this palette. I really hope that one day he just comes out with the contour on its own because it starts to transfer. Um, and I don't really use it. It has a very silver cool tone. So on my skin, it doesn't look nice unless I apply it to my eyes, but on the cheeks, I don't use it, but this one is beautiful. I can still use it. I got, I have to go very light handed, but it definitely is a little bit deep for me in the summertime. It's a lot better in the winter not so much but love the formula it's very similar to the Huda Beauty formula it's very similar to the Chanel bronzer formula it just works and it's very easy to blend like beginner or advanced you can work with this and it looks absolutely gorgeous but if you're my complexion i would definitely go with intensity one instead of intensity two because i find it's a little bit dark the only powder product that i'm going to talk about in terms of the cheekbones is this one here from christian dior dior beauty dior makeup whatever you would call it and this is from their dior forever line this is the couture luminizer in rosewood glow i love the packaging it's a little bit dirty but i'm gonna give you guys a bit of a close-up there look at this oh she is stunning like how beautiful is that packaging and it's like soft i love love the packaging rosewood is this really pretty rose gold color but it has a bit of a bronzy undertone to it also this is a luminous product that you can put all over the cheeks to me it does give me a little bit of color a tiny bit of color but all in all it just gives off this really beautiful rose gold glow i don't know if my camera's going to pick it up maybe if i put it on this side where the light is hitting my skin you guys will be able to catch the glow but it is so stunning it's a very lit from within there's no chunks of glitter it's just a glow and it looks really beautiful it lifts up the cheekbones you can also apply this to the eyes if you want to intensify it grab some of it spray your brush and then apply it to the eyes and it will give you the most gorgeous almost like metallic sheen stunning stunning so next up mascara i think you guys should know by now what mascara i'm going to mention i'm going to mention one of them because this was the mascara that i wore the most throughout the entire and i'm continuing to wear and i have gotten compliments on my lashes and that is Tom Ford um, Badass Black Mascara. This is incredible, okay? The way that this will like literally lift the lashes, curl the lashes, lengthen the lashes, and give it this wispy look is insane. I love this mascara so much. This is the mascara that made me feel like, okay, I don't need falsies. You can see my lashes. This is the mascara that made me realize that my lashes aren't super dull, thin, and small, and not long enough. This will really enhance your lashes. I love it, I love it, love it. You don't need to use a bunch of layers. I do about two coats on each um, lash, and I am good to go, and I just think that this is well worth it. It is a pricey product for a mascara, but it lasts me quite a bit, and again, it does the job. Like exactly what I'm looking for, it does the job. So the last category is lip products. I have quite a few lip products to show you guys, but I'm gonna talk about this lip combo to start off with. It is from Charlotte Tilbury. Don't sleep on that brand. I love Charlotte Tilbury. They have some really beautiful products, but I love their Pillow Talk lineup. There are so many stunning like neutral tones in that line. So I picked up last year the lip liner in Pillow Talk 3 Intense, and then I also got the lipstick, which was in... Um, medium two and it's their pillow talk lineup and i love this combo it's a really beautiful kind of a neutral pink tone with like some 
warm undertones actually yeah it's like a pinky mul mulvy um lip color right here I hope my camera picks that up. Oh, that was an awkward place to place that. And then the actual lip liner, which I really need to sharpen, is this deeper brown. It's actually pretty deep and I can go um, a lighter shade, but I really, really, really love, love the way that it works on my skin tone. I also wanna shout out the Fenty Beauty um, Cream Glosses, I think it's called, is it? is it called cream it says cream at the front it is the gloss balm cream in fenty glow i wear this a ton it's what i have on right now because it's so beautiful let me put that on right there look at that it's just so luscious it makes your lips look really pouty i hope i put that right i can't even see from where i am but um it's really beautiful it's very luscious and very hydrating, not sticky. And these have a lot more color payoff than the original, you know, gloss bombs. These are a cream formula, so there's a lot of tint to them. So I love that one. And I also wanna shout out Merit because these two glosses are incredible. The formula is stunning. So I have the shade Taupe and then I have the shade Cara Cara. I've already worn them so much. Cara Cara is like a beautiful orangey brick like uh, red tone tone if you will and it looks really pretty on my skin tone i find even really like fair girls can rock this and it just looks stunning and then taupe is a more cooler tone which i normally don't go for but i really do like the way that this looks on the lips and that is taupe right there i'll give you guys a bit of a close-up and then cara cara close together they are both really beautiful and i've worn them a ton formula is 10 out of 10 not sticky very lightweight very moisturizing and they give you like that pouty look that you're looking for in a gloss so love these and then last but not least i am going to shout out burt's bees this is their squeezy tint bomb i don't know if i mentioned them last year if i did it's because i love them and i'm continuing to use them so i have berry and i have mandarin and these are so good like if you want a lip balm but with a lot of color to them get you these and there are a ton of shades to select from very hydrating so so hydrating and soothing but they give you a beautiful color you can wear them very sheer but you can also intensify them to get really heavy color payoff so Burt's Bees my jam always always and guys, I hope you can't see the mess over here because all the products are down here, but I hope you enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today. It's probably a really long one. <laughs> So thank you for those of you who reached the end of this video. Um, let me know down below what was your favorite beauty, skincare, hair care, fragrance discovery of 2021. I would love to hear from you guys and give this video a thumbs up, share it if you would love to, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!